411 welcome back to my channel let me tell you what I did on my last video I did a braid out using the Shea Moisture the twisting uh, this is the twisted fine and custard right so I was like well what am I gonna do now with my hair so I decided to re-wet my hair refresh my hair with some of my rice water yes this is a new bottle full I made up a batch yesterday added more flaxseed gel to it to give it more of a consistency and I worked that through my hair and I combed out my hair and what I did was I re-braided my hair okay I used a little bit more of this because it was still some in there I did not shampoo my hair because it's not time yet, but I did go back in with my rice water leave-in. So, the rice water and all this goodness, I saturated my hair, went back in, rebraided my hair, and I am putting now just some grapeseed oil on there and working it down the strands. So I'm going to take this out and see if I can get another, another very, very good definition braid out, okay? So I did put some perm rods in the front of my head and in the back of my hair. I used the magic rollers, those little pink things. Yeah. I think we got another winner, y'all. We have another winner. Y'all, I'm loving the rice water. I'm loving the Shea Moisture products. Um, I kind of want to do something else with the Shea Moisture product. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go in because I, I have the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have all the shampoos and leave-in. But as far as product, product as a styler, I really just have the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Twist Define. Yes. And these are not, I did not put the braids back up the way they were. I literally start grabbing sections and braiding again. I didn't put them back up the way they were because before they were all over this side and down on this side. This time, I kind of wanted to just have it going all around the braids to see how they would look. So I'm going to go ahead, stop yakking, speed up this video of me taking down these braids because y'all have seen braids come down a thousand and one times. Hold on.
right guys i am back my arms are burning i know i had over 20 probably like 25 braids in my hair but definition is good it's a little frizzy on the ends in the front I think I did not braid down far enough on them. Or I didn't coil it enough or something. But the definition is good. The braids turned out good. I, I'm going to try. I'm going to see how my hair will do if I try to do less if I try to do less braids, more like a, a medium chunky twist out or something like that. Just something, I don't know, just less braids. <laughs> it's easy putting them up when you're watching TV and all that kind of stuff. And I haven't filled it in in the back, so... I don't know if there are holes back there or what. And I don't know if I should have put that Barbie pin in there. I, the only thing I don't like is by not even these ends. These ends are good. Like, this is good. But something happened up in here. You see my ends? I don't think I coiled them enough. Or something. I don't know. Is that going to stop me from rocking this hairstyle? Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Let it fill in on this side. Yeah. That'll do. But definition still on point. Hair is soft. Hair is manageable. Um, I think it's time... I don't know. I can't remember exactly when I started with the Shea Moisture products. I think it's been a good three weeks. And I kind of want to go to another brand with my rice water. So that's what I'm working. That's what I'm going to take this bobby pin out. Just, that ain't going to work. But now it's time to move on to another brand and I kind of like this one brand at a time thing I really do because I can see you know it's like I can see my hair how my hair is and what's making my hair thrive I can see it and the one thing that I can definitely say that is making my hair thrive guys is my rice water and me taking care of my hair, me shampooing my hair, me using a scalp massager when I do my hair, me making sure that my hair is taken care of at night. I don't just go to sleep uh, on the pillow. I make sure I have my bonnet on and then I don't just let my hair go crazy up under the bonnet. I always make sure I put like some mini pineapples in it or something. I always make sure my hair is good and moisturized. It's it's a thing that you have to do. It's it's a regimen that you have to come in. You know that you have to come up with that is going to help you retain length. And I can see that now from being on this journey and it will be a year in December. 
since I started this journey and I can definitely tell the difference in my hair since I've actually fallen in love with my hair and I actually take care of my hair. Right now, I may just be doing Shea Moisture for another week and trying to do like a chunkier braid out because I like, I like the way it makes my hair feel. So, I don't know guys, I don't know. I really don't know. But, I do know this, keep God first in everything you do and I do mean everything. And follow me over on my Instagram channel, The Real McCoy 411. I'm telling you, I put a lot of pictures out on there. So, go ahead, head on over to my Instagram. I have it linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, anything, please leave them down below. And until next time, once again, keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. And as far as this braid out, yes, it did all that I wanted and more. And I just love the definition. Definition. But the next thing I'm going to try, I'm telling you, I'm going to try to do a chunky not chunky, like medium chunky braids, other than those real small braids, just to see how my definition will turn out. Because I know how my definition will turn out with these smaller braids. So I want to see how my definition is going to turn out with just a little bit bigger braid. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. So, all right, guys. See you on my next video. Bye.